Well, some North Tonawanda residents are raising their voices now over the loud, annoying sound that they say they're having to deal with from what's called a Bitcoin mining facility, which is now being set up. Well, Channel 2's Ron Plants found out what the city and the company are trying to do about it. The people we've already talked to in the North Tonawanda neighborhood near Erie Avenue say it's kind of like a loud howling type, maybe whistling sound. You know, I guess the way to think about it was like a jet engine running. Some have tried to record it on their security cameras and city police have actually been checking decibel levels near the Fortistar power production plant. That's where the Canadian-based DigiHost firm has set up trailers and other structures to house linked computers, maybe like these, which actually do the digital mining process for Bitcoin. The computers and their cooling fans apparently the source of the sound. Meanwhile, the city seeking solutions with DigiHost and acoustics engineers. They're looking at uh, like insulated damper panels to absorb the sound. They're looking at directing it into the sky, I guess, a little bit more. And in the background, there's a lawsuit to be heard tomorrow in Niagara County Court, where two upset residents are raising questions about the city's approval process for this project from last year. Actually, Tylek, the new mayor, had requested a temporary moratorium on the development on this project to further study issues like perhaps what they're hearing about now. It was voted down three to two. I knew that it would be an issue if that did fall through, which it did, because now government can only do so much, right? We can only uh, enforce the existing ordinances that we have, and um, we're certainly going to do that. But, you know, there's still a nuisance piece, a disturbance piece, even if they're right below that decibel level. And that's why we're trying to just, again, work with them and make sure that that, that uh, we can all get along and find a solution to this. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.